Old mystery we've been reporting on since the 1980s has finally been solved. A newborn baby found frozen to death in Meriden. And now 32 years later, police have finally identified his mother with the help of DNA. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live in Meriden with all the details. Matt? Well, Dennis, the baby's mother no longer lives in Meriden, but detectives were able to track her down earlier this month, speak to her. They say she did admit and that they say she is remorseful. But uh, for Meriden police, this has been a long time coming and it finally brings some closure. Miss Roach indicated she had been waiting 32 years for the day in which the police would be knocking on her door regarding this incident. And earlier this month, Meriden police did just that, finally getting some answers in the heartbreaking cold case of David Paul. The newborn infant was discovered frozen to death in Meriden way back in 1988. She said she had lived with this for obviously the last uh, 32 years. Meriden police tell us they were led to the mother, Karen Kuzmak Roach, thanks to a breakthrough with DNA and forensic genealogy, led by Colleen Fitzpatrick and her team that started working on this case back in 2012 getting a break just last year with some distant matches. You come up with a list of DNA cousins. You really don't know who they are, but your job is to kind of network them into a family and find where your John Doe, in this case, David Paul, fit into that family. From there, police followed up with an interview of a relative in Florida, and coupled with new information, eventually approached Roach this month, who allegedly admitted she hit her pregnancy and gave birth to David Paul when she was 25. She made a call after delivering the baby. She indicated to us that she made a phone call to the um, South Mirren Volunteer Fire Department, but was extremely vague about the information regarding there's something along the lines of there's something in a parking lot. Four days later, the baby was found. Without any parents or family, Meriden police adopted the little boy, naming him David Paul, holding a graveside ceremony every year, vowing to never forget him or this case. It's very touching. And you know, it's very touching because of the dedication of the police. You know, I have to give them high five. They're, they're being, you know, kind of, you know, humble about this, but they're real heroes here. You know, how they kept at it and dogged it down. So what about charges? Well, the chief says in this case, it doesn't look like there will be any because with manslaughter, the statute of limitations is 20 years and that has long since passed. Now coming up tonight at six, you're going to hear from two now retired members of the police department, a former chief, a former detective sergeant who remember working this case and what today's news means to them. We're live at the Mobile Newsroom in Meriden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.